Gun safety is far from the only Biden policy that Trump is vowing to undo if reelected. Among the many, he has promised measures against federal funding for issues pertaining to LGBTQ plus rights. To that end, the Human Rights Campaign today is announcing a $15 million investment to mobilize voters in six key swing states. Joining us now, the president of the Human Rights Campaign and the Human Rights Campaign Foundation, Kelly Robinson. She was recently named one of Time 100's most influential people of 2024. Congratulations on that. So uh, who and where are the voters you are hoping to rally to show up for equality? Look, this is a big deal. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot happening in the world, but this is something that people can be excited about. We have identified 75 million equality voters across this country that prioritize LGBTQ plus issues when deciding who to vote for. 75 million. I mean, that's equivalent to the number of total voters in all the swing states combined. So our job and what we're seeking to do through the We Show Up campaign mm -hmm. is to turn them out to the polls, to make it clear exactly what's at stake, how scary and devastating a second Trump term Term would be and make sure that they have the information and tools that they need to get out the vote. So what is at stake? How scary is a second uh, the concept of a second Trump administration for these communities especially? Yeah, look, every time he opens his mouth, it's a new nightmare that comes out of it. I mean, we're talking about a person that's trying to make his way from the courthouse back into the White House yet again to torment our lives, our communities, and our families. And if I just look at the short term, with him putting in three Supreme Court justices right. and not only overturn Roe v. Wade, but but also said out loud that next they would come for a Burgerfell, next they would come for Windsor, next they would come for Lawrence, Supreme Court cases that fundamentally establish rights for my community in this country. This is something that we can't take lightly. So when I think about this year, the contrast and the choice before us is clear. Yeah. It's not just about two candidates. It's about two fundamentally different versions of our country we could be looking at after this November. Is part of this campaign almost just hearing what you're uh, describing here, almost to show what he's already done, what is already Already literally happened, not, you know, figuratively. This is, he's already done damage to women's rights. Women, young women, do not have the rights I grew up with yeah. because of Donald Trump. How will you articulate that when you go after these voters for equality, equality voters, as you call them? It's, a, it's exactly what you said. We don't have to wonder about what a second presidential term for Donald Trump would look like because he has already shown us and he continues to tell us. I mean, your last clip just showed that mm -hmm. so clearly. Not only that, Project 2025 says out loud that they're coming after marriage equality. I mean, he's really seeking to roll back the rights that we've gained not only the last 20 or 40 years, but over the last 100. So this campaign is about reminding voters about that reality. And the beautiful thing about equality voters is that they represent so many parts of our community. Mm -hmm. They're overwhelmingly people of color. They skew yeah. heavily to be women, allies, and the LGBTQ community, and younger. And especially that young generation, we have to remember that in 2020, they were just coming of age politically. Right. So we've got to remind them of what that chaos was and of their power to change so the future. You're looking at swing states, Pennsylvania, Arizona, Michigan, Wisconsin, Georgia, and Nevada, this $15 million campaign. How will how will you implement it? Is it ads or is it field operations? What are we going to see? All of it. We're going to be knocking on doors. We're going to be making phone calls. We're going to be recruiting volunteers. We're going to be putting up paid ads so people can understand the realities of what's at stake and turning these folks out. Because at the end of the day, you know, this election, the presidency is going to come down to tens of thousands of voters in a handful of states. So when I look at equality voters, we've got 1.4 million identified in the state of Arizona alone. And that race was determined by 20,000 voters in 20,000 voters wow. in 2020. Same thing if you look at Wisconsin. We've got a million equality voters there, and it was a difference of about 20,000 voters that made the difference in 2020 to get uh, President Biden into office. So this matters. Yeah, keep us posted. President of the Human Rights Campaign, Kelly Robinson, thank you so much for coming on this morning. We appreciate it.